One of the myths for December 21st, 2012 is that the Earth's axes are going to somehow shift. The rotation axis can't shift because of the orbit of the moon around the Earth stabilizes it and doesn't allow it to shift. The magnetic field does shift from time to time, but the last time it did it was 740,000 years ago, and it doesn't uh, do that sort of a shift, but every half a million years or so. There's no evidence that's going to happen in December, and even if it were to be shifting, it takes thousands of years to do so. For those who have forgotten, scientists have tracked the exponential North Pole shift that has gone shockingly under the radar. After its, quote, surprising jump over an approximately 70-year period, the next 68 years saw momentous movement. But then it moved about the same distance in 29 years. In 2009, it was measured racing towards Russia at 40 miles per year. You can read more about what would happen uh, if there was a dramatic shift, but to su uh, suffice to say, if this big shift occurs quickly, we may be left significantly more vulnerable to solar events. Our shield won't completely disappear, but it doesn't really need to. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. If you go to the USG website and at this link, which I'll put in the description, the USGS lists all the earthquakes for worldwide and for United States. And then this part is from 2000 to 2012. And here's the statement about them no longer locating earthquakes smaller than 4.5. And if you want to go back prior to that to 1990, you just click that link. And so I took all the worldwide numbers and I put them into an Excel spreadsheet. And um, so here's all the numbers. And then I made a simple chart to get an idea, you know, of what the actual facts are telling us. So from 1999 to 2009, you can see there's a clear trend of increasing earthquakes. But oh, the blue lines are the total. The yellow lines are everything less than 5. And the pink line is 5 and above. So going back to 2009, you see that there's a huge drop off because of those earthquakes that the USGS is no longer locating. But if you look at the major earthquakes, you see the trend continues to increase. But without those earthquakes, this whole chart, you just, it's no longer comparable. You, there's no way you can get any idea of the total trending. So I think this is another way that they're trying to hide more evidence and just as just to let you know for 2012 these are the total earthquakes that are reported as of 9-7-2012 and this is a pro rata just to get a, a very rough idea of where we could end up at the end of the year this is you know no way 100 percent indicative of the future but you know just some guesstimate but even with that without all the earthquakes less than five there's no way you can know what what's really going on in the world 